Hey, what's up guys? Chris here, and today we're talking about War of the Visions and the new Admirable Prince event that's running for the next two weeks. Everyone has been asking about this Golden Axe and Golden Blade Greatsword, and should we be bothering trying to farm these up to a plus five? So we're going to answer two big questions here. Number one, can you even craft these to a plus five? And the answer to that is yes, probably. And then should you craft it to a plus five? And the answer is yeah, maybe if you have the time. But we're going to dive right into all this in this video. If you like the video, please consider dropping a like, comment, and sub, and we'll get right into it. So the first question is, can we even craft this to a plus five? And the way we're going to do this is if you go to the far plane, we're going to go to our multi-missions, okay? And so under multi-missions, there is the Admirable Prince EX side quest that you can do for multi-missions. And you can pretty much grind these as much as you want. If you look, they drop the books, they drop the recipes, they drop all the crafting materials, the adamantite, it drops everything you need to get this weapon to a plus five. Now the first thing I'm going to say, you probably won't be able to get both of these weapons to a plus five. EX1 is for crafting the golden axe, as you're going to see here, this, these bone chips are used for the golden axe, it's got the axe book, it's got the axe recipe. EX2 is for crafting the golden blade, so same thing, recipe, book, and you have all the materials here. If you are doing these events full time, all the time, you might get enough materials to do one single plus five. And we're gonna, we're gonna dive right into that. So to figure out if we can even craft this gear, we're going to look at a Reddit post, a super helpful Reddit post by Haddison right here. If you don't know who he is, he posts all sorts of really good stuff on Reddit for War of the Visions. Super good guides. He's been playing the JP version since release. And so he's he's been posting lots of things that can help players who are new to the game. So this, he posts a brief guide to gear making and benefits for plus X gear. And so basically he goes through down here, the cost of making a plus five gear, but we're gonna talk about that in a second. The reason why you wanna make a gear into a plus, from a plus four into a plus five is what he covers in this paragraph right here. He basically says, if, if a weapon has slash attack, for example, on its bonus ability, which is what you get as you level weapons up from plus one, plus two, plus three, it basically doubles each time you level that up. So it goes from plus one to plus two to plus four, plus eight, plus 15, I believe. So you get double the bonus of, a, of for example, slash attack on a long blade. It'll go from plus eight to plus 15. So because the passive abilities on weapons get twice as valuable, it can be worth it. Um, it just kind of makes the weapon a lot more viable, but you could have two weapons that go from uh, that have slash attack plus seven instead of one weapon as plus 15. But if you're a, a min maxer, one weapon in the end is going to be better at plus 15. So this is what we're really going to talk about the costs of making plus five gear. And he goes through this whole thing basically, and we're going to put the cost down here at the bottom of the screen. You need 63 recipes total to make these gill. Don't worry about that. We just, everyone just got given 10 million gill. You should have plenty of gill to do this books. We're going to talk about this in a second. Adamantite, he breaks down how much adamantite you need, and it, it is a ludicrous amount to get to plus five. Total, you need three million experience right here, and that equals about 2,000 gold adamantite. That seems like a lot. I know it seems like a lot, but trust me, if you're grinding this event pretty much most of the day for all 14 days, you, you should have plenty enough adamantite. You could probably end up with about four or 5,000 adamantite. Dwarven Handwares and Seals, we'll, we'll talk about in a bit. But coming back to books, to get to a plus five, you need 255 books. This is just taking a one star to a five star. So this is assuming you already have a plus five weapon. You need 255 books to get it from plus, or sorry, from one star to five stars, okay? But to get everything you need to get up to that plus five weapon, you need 1125 books to get to a max plus five, five star weapon that's at level 50. This, this is a lot. Um, and we're gonna talk about why this is the prohibitive part. But if you, let me repeat this again. If you do this event all day, every day, you could probably get to this number. So we're gonna look at how much I've gotten in about two and a half days of farming. And we'll see if uh, that takes us to everything that we need. So anyway, that, that's what we need. Now let's look at the account and see if we have enough or if that's possible enough if we are grinding every day. So back here on my account, we're gonna go to equipment here and we're gonna look um, to see how much you need to actually craft these. And you're gonna see, we're gonna look at how much equipment you actually need or how many materials you actually need to craft all these weapons. 
So if I scroll over and I need to craft a golden blade, okay? The materials that go into this, you have these recipes, you have these saps, and then you have these ogre hairs, and then you have whatever this is, jerky, beef jerky, void, void crisps. And so you need these every time you do an awakening on the weapon, you need these every time you do a crafting on a weapon, every time you make a new recipe. So you're gonna need at least 63 times 30 for these. So that's, um, I don't know, roughly 2,000 of these just for the recipes. You're gonna need 63 times five, that's what, 330 ogre hairs and the same number of these. That's just for the recipes of creating the original golden blades. That doesn't even count all of the awakening and all that. You're gonna need a lot of them, that's, that's safe to say. So if I go back to my equipment, let's just say we need to look at adamantites. Let's just look at how much I've had. I've been farming this for about two and a half days now. You're gonna see I already have a golden blade plus one and plus two. You're gonna see adamantite's not gonna be a problem. I've gotten, and I used like a hundred of these also. So I got about a thousand of these in about two and a half days, which means if you are farming this event in, um, let's say, if you, let's say you farm this event for most of the day for all 14 days of the event, we'll multiply that by about six. You should end up with at least four to 6,000 of these adamantites. So adamantites are not gonna be a problem. Okay, I think the problem is going to be the books. So if we look at the, how many books I've gotten, I've gotten 200 books. You need 30 every time you do an awakening. Now remember, we need 1,125 of these books in order to fully get this weapon. I've done two and a half days, so I have about 200. If you multiply that by you know five, five to six, in order to extrapolate this out, I'll have right around 1,000 to, to 1,200 books. So you pretty much have to be farming this EX event most of the day for the entirety of the event to have enough books to do this. So keep that in mind. If you really wanna go for a plus five weapon, you're really going to need to farm this over and over again to have enough books to do this. So can you craft a plus five? Yes, it's possible, but you pretty much have to be farming this event almost all the time for the next two weeks. This is why I say if you wanna craft a plus four of each weapon, you can do that as well because it takes twice as many materials, actually more than twice as many materials to get a plus five that does a plus four. So if you really want both of these weapons, you can get a plus four golden blade and a plus four golden ax by spending half of your time in EX1 and half of your time in EX2. So that's always an option as well if you're not going for the plus five version. So now we're gonna move on to should you be crafting the plus five? And the answer to that question is, if you have a stern, I absolutely would. Um, Stern is one of the only characters uh, that uses a great sword right now, or one of the only really good characters that uses a great sword. I currently don't have Stern. Okay, so if you sort here by rarity, my ultra rares, oops, go descending. My ultra rares, I, I don't have a good damage dealer. I certainly don't have anybody who uses a great sword. My best character that does is Shusel. But I would say if you have Stern, absolutely, I would go for this plus five golden sword. And that's primarily because if we look on the Japan part of the game, and they're about, uh, what, three or four months ahead of us. If we look at this side of the game, and this is uh, Altima.jp. If you need to find some War of the Vision stuff, this has got all the Japan stuff. You just have to use Google Translate to be able to look at this website. We go down to the weapon list. We go down to great swords, and you're going to see right here. Here's our large swords. They're about four months ahead of us. The Golden Blade is still the best great sword that you can get, by far. You have this great Sky Sword, which is Shootselt's Trustmaster reward, so we, we won't count that. That's unique. And then you have this Crimson Saber, which came in from Tower, which provides, I think, 70 or 80-ish attack, but it gives you a lot of magic, so it's a different type of weapon. Golden Blade gives you it is by far the best sword still in the game in Japan, so it's going to be viable for at least in this next four to six months, if not even longer. We don't know when the next good great sword will come out, in, even in Japan. And similarly, if we go to the axes, which I believe I have up here, yes. If you go to the axes, you're gonna see the golden axe is, again, still the best axe in the game. So whether you craft the golden axe or you wanna craft the golden blade, both of them are very worth it. Now, I wouldn't spend any of these materials crafting if you don't have stern, and if you don't have Yerma, because Yerma I think is the only one who uses an axe right now, and so there's really no reason to spend all the materials crafting this if you don't have one of those two characters. 
So guys, hopefully this helps answer the question of whether you can craft these plus five weapons from this new event or whether you should. Again, if you liked the video, please drop a like, subscribe. I'm going to keep this account free to play for the entire time I play this game. So hopefully I'll be able to give good advice for people who are trying to play this game for free because we know gotcha games can be extremely difficult for free to play. Uh, we'll see you guys next time.